It's time to paint some more spooky undead. Oh, I can't. Yeah. It is indeed time to paint some more spooky undead. The necromantic horror Blood Bowl team that I've been working on is coming along nicely now and making some good progress through this commission. And that is mostly because for the next part of the commission I decided to tackle all six zombie linemen at once, despite the fact that there are actually three different types of zombie linemen. So this video is going to be a pretty interesting overview of uh, how we tackled those and I'm not going to be going over the bits that we did in previous videos. I'll be glossing over those very very quickly but I will put a recommended link in the top corner somewhere here here I can't remember whether my camera mirrors or not in one of these corners there'll be a link to the first part video so that you can check that out for the recipes that aren't going to be included in this one so let's get on with painting some zombie linemen Kicking things off, we've got a different flesh work up here to what we had on the ghouls that we've painted previously. We're starting with iron rack skin and we're just going to get that base coated all over. Now I'm going to get one of my little sauce pots. You can get these from Amazon. They're very, very handy for mixing washes. And I'm going to mix Seraphim Sepia and Drakenhof Nightshade. You could probably use a Thonian Camo Shade for this, but it does come out a bit lighter. I wanted something a little bit darker. So the Seraphim plus Drakenhof gives me a, a much darker green to tint this flesh with. And that is exactly what I'm going to do next. Any of these guys that have got flesh tones on them, those flesh tones have been iron racked and they are now going to get washed liberally with this custom mixed wash. Then we'll do some quick highlighting back up with iron rack skin. You'll notice, methodically speaking, this is very similar to how I painted the ghouls, but I am working with some different colours here, so I did feel like it was worth going over again. And then we're just going to mix some white into that iron rack skin to pull some finer highlights here and there. Again, much the same as we did on the ghoul skin, just with different colours. Okay, next on to any pieces of wood or rope that are present on these. Now, a couple of these guys are scarecrows, so there's quite a lot of wood present on those. And there's rope that features quite a bit on these folks as well. So we're going to get some Mournfang Brown on all of those areas. Okay, next up we will take Viejo model colour Red Orange and we'll mix some of that into the Mournfang Brown. Uh, it doesn't actually lighten it that much, it really warms it up though and we're going to sort of start to indicate the areas that we want highlights to live in just by warming them up with this slightly lighter colour. But then once we add a touch of sunny skin tone to this mixture, we are then in a position to actually start to make some serious highlights. So we'll start dotting these about on the wood grain and stuff like that. Now on the wood only, but not on the rope, we will just reinforce some top highlights with some pure sunny skin tone. And the reason I say on the wood only and not the rope is just because you kind of need that really high contrast in the wood to pick out the wood grain, whereas it's not quite as necessary on the rope. So we're just saving a bit of time there. We're then going to take our good friend Agrax Earthshade and we're going to do some selective shading. So this is kind of treating the shade paint like you were using a mixed glaze. So we'll just be sort of sweeping it gently into areas where we want to start to introduce shadow and building it up in intensity where we want it to be darker. Next up we've got a bunch more of those french fries to paint, I mean straw to paint, which we will base coat just with some sunny skin tone all on its own. And all of that will take a nice hit of seraphim sepia to get it shaded. Once all of that's dry I'm then able to start to chunk on with some of those bits that we've already covered in the previous video, like the orange for example. And not to mention all of that green piping, which is probably the most time-consuming part of the entire workup for this undead team. Next I'm going to grab some Steel Legion Drab from Citadel and I'm going to use that to base coat the uh, sack hood that's on one of the scarecrow looking zombie linemen. And I'm also going to use this to base coat a lot of the laces on the boots and the little stitches that are in their clothing, things like that. 
And again, we'll keep things super simple here, just some Agrax Earthshade to shade it down. And then we'll work it back up with Steel Legion Drab, back to its sort of mid-tone color. And then again, adding a dot of sunny skin tone into this to get a highlight color and applying that onto sort of the upward facing areas. Sunny skin tone really is a universal highlighter when you're working with like browns and neutrals and stuff like that. You can just mix it with anything and you get good highlights. So now we're going to go back to all of the stuff that you've previously seen. We're going to tackle some metallics. Those are a thing that we've already been over in the other video. And then we'll get some highlighting done on the black areas as well. Uh, just a simple free stage highlight. And again, we covered this in the previous video. Now there is also the basin to take care of. I'm saving that for one of the later videos in the series, purely because the next few sets are all just two at a time now, and so I feel like it's going to be easier to fit into one of those. But the basin workup is very simple, and that will be coming to you soon. So in the meantime, we can now take a look at how our two lonely ghouls that were just sat there all by themselves have miraculously, by the magic of television, become eight completed necromantic horror Blood Bowl players now. So we're making some really, really Really good progress with this commission and that's great news. I've got uh, two ghosts to do, two werewolves and two human constructs and then just the tokens and stuff and that will have this team done. Blood Bowl's been capturing a lot of my enthusiasm lately. I've really been enjoying the miniatures. Their quirkiness really appeals to me anyway. And so it's been great fun to get to continue painting these. I can't wait to carry on with the rest of them. So I hope you liked this video folks. If you did you can let me know that you liked it by hitting that thumbs up button. You can also subscribe to the channel and enable notifications if you want to stay up to date on what I'm doing here on YouTube. If you really love the content and you want to support its creation, there is a Patreon campaign which you can pledge to from as little as a dollar a month to help me keep the lights on and all that other YouTube-y stuff. But with all of that said, I'm now going to get out of here and roll those end credits. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.